All right, guys, now this is a video that we're gonna rectify a big issue with the Dome Plateau Trail Guide. We're actually gonna go see that overlook, an overlook that is a bit easier to get to than the top of the world overlook and might be even better. So let's see if we can get up right up there. Hey there, my name is Dewey Jones. I am a Colorado off-roader. I am the host of this channel. This channel, we mostly film trail guides. These are trails from start to finish, showing you all the turns so that you don't mess up and you get to see the good stuff. Now today I am doing a trail I've already done. This is Dome Plateau. However, I was pretty new at making these videos. I am learning as I go and I screwed up on this one. I did not get to the overlook and the overlook might be the best part. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get there and I'll show you how I get there. I'm gonna show you where I messed up and we're gonna show all that kind of stuff. We need to get into it and we're getting into it right away with the first obstacle. So let's, uh, let's film it. Okay, I'm going to show you how to get to the overlook starting with this first obstacle. Now this route will be the quickest route to the overlook, but maybe the most challenging. The trail guide I made of Dome Plateau can be run in reverse order, which would be an easier way to the overlook if you're looking for that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching our vlog experiment. Now I got a secret, I am definitely not a vlogger. I'm just an off-roader and video maker, but I need a lot more practice at editing videos to hopefully make better videos for you. So this not a vlogger is going to step out of his comfort zone and try to vlog occasionally. I'm going to give myself about three days from filming to publish a vlog so they might not be that good but I need to make these to improve our other videos. Now the kind of cool thing about the vlog videos is that they're going to have real time updates in them like this. Hey we're filming in Uray in August. If you want to be in one of our trail guides get in touch with me. Oh and watch this to the end because I'm going to talk about how we make those trail guides a little bit later. The other kind of cool thing is that these videos are going to have experimentation in them like this attempt to bring you inside the jeep with me now i could have picked my line a little bit better there but i got skid plates for a reason okay that was my first attempt at taking a inside the cab you know driver's view of the actual wheeling I, I know it was probably a bit too shaky, but I think I can fix that in the future. I am just amazed at how well the GoPro actually captured both the inside as well as the outside view. Now I might be alone on this, but let me know in the comments if you would like to see some of that in the future trail guides. We can maybe show how, how it looks to us as we're wheeling the obstacles. Maybe that will be useful to you. Although this vlog isn't going to cover our typical trail guide stuff, these aerial shots as well as the inside shots do a pretty good job of showing the white lines to follow to stay on the trail. However, I will admit I did find them a little bit harder to find this year versus last year, mostly at the bottom of this obstacle. Figured this is just a good time to point that out as we're looking at it. All right, we are at Yellow Jackets, Ledges, Steps, and this is probably the biggest obstacle on the trail. Really fun, however, there is a bypass for it. Now, I don't think I did a very good job of showing the bypass. I did talk about there being a bypass, but it's really kind of easy to see um, if we look at it from the side. Now, these are the ledges. You have a whole bunch of them kind of going down. They're not bad, but you are gonna slip a little bit with the sand and you do get a little tippy so that's something you need to consider but the steps kind of gradually come down and i'll probably film it and show it over this there is a bypass and it's basically making a big s through there and then you're going to continue on here you do get a little off camber come back around and then you can keep on going on the trail all right, let's talk a little bit about this trail. Now, I love this trail, and that's one reason why I'm coming back here to do a vlog on it. It might be a little bit harder than when I filmed the trail guide. It might be a little bit more dug out. Now, it is rated as moderate in fun tracks. It might be inching up towards a difficult rating. You're gonna get off camber. You're gonna three wheel if you have independent suspension, potentially, unless you take a really easy line. If you guys do this one, watch the, or if you've done this one lately, if you do me a favor, watch that Dome Plateau Trail Guide and just let me know how it compares to your, your thinking on this trail. Now, it was very early when I was filming those. I was new to this. Um, 
maybe I need to redo it, but the goal is to have a lot more videos of trails filmed. So I don't want to spend a lot of time keep going back to older trails. That's one of the reasons I started the channel was to force myself to do a lot more trails. All right, guys, so if you go to Loboca Arch first, you're gonna end up coming out a road up there. You just wanna get on this nice paved road, or not paved road, but this nice smooth dirt road, which will take you to the Overlook. It looks like it's gonna be a pretty smooth ride out there. So while we make our way up to the Overlook, let's talk about Red Cone. Sorry, Sean. You guys have not seen our Red Cone Trail Guide yet. It's going to be awesome, but it's also going to get us more negative comments than even the Tin Cup Trail Guide gets. Now hate does not bother us, but I believe in being open and transparent, so here we go. And so here is a recent comment, but he's not alone in discussing me being a trail guide. I'm not quite sure where that has come from, as I've never claimed to be a trail guide in these videos, I actually label myself as an off-roader, or the more accurate, bad YouTube host. What is an actual trail guide is the posted video. Now here's how we go about filming these. We are simply a group of off-road enthusiasts and we all take personal responsibility for ourselves and our vehicles. Still, we'll always help each other if needed. Everyone is told to review fun treks and trails off-road before doing a trail and I will never push anyone to take a harder line for video purposes. The goal of the day is to accurately film the trail, then after filming the trail, I go through all the footage to make a trail guide. Any mishaps are filmed and this provides an accurate picture of the trail for us. Now on Red Cone, Sean has had some major tire issues resulting in a major breakdown. That will be shown and I expect negative comments, but it's just how the day went. Just know I usually respond to the comments after working all day or night and I can be a bit blunt in my replies. Okay, that's enough channel housekeeping. Let's get back to the purpose of this video, getting to that awesome overlook. And we're gonna see if it's as good or better than top of the world's overlook. All right, so it is not the wide dirt road the entire way. Basically, you're gonna come to a fork. The wide road is gonna make a sharp left, a big sweeping left turn, which I'm hopefully showing you right now. You're gonna want to go right. There's a sign that says Dome Plateau that may not be there, you never can. Thanks for sticking with me through this first vlog attempt. We are almost there and how am I doing? Actually, don't answer that. So on this day, I went to work at 2.30 a.m., got off around 9 a.m., drove to Moab, explored Onion Creek before returning to Dome Plateau. So I was a bit tired, so tired I wasn't paying attention to my gas, especially since I did the entire trail on a quarter tank of gas last time. I was also a bit preoccupied by a check engine light that started on Onion Creek. And if you follow me on social media, you'll know I've been having some bad luck with this awesome Jeep lately. But the good news is the check engine light wasn't real and the Jeep is fine. I'm sorry Toyota fans and Lexus fans. Actually, Lexus fans, what's up with that? Was Toyota not good enough for you? Oh man, I get off track. Okay, let's. that's just enough talk. Here's the final stretch to the overlook from the air. that view is spectacular and that view might even be better than top of the world's you'll just have to watch the top of the world trail guide or you're gonna have to do both trails and let me know which one you think is better this view or the top of the world one all right i am so bad at documenting when things may not be going exactly as planned um, I think I've already told you about my check engine light. That's no big deal. I think it's just a wheel sensor, but I'm low on gas and I did not plan this Definitely out. a vlogger fail as I stopped recording when I went to low fuel and I need to record stuff like running out of gas, but luckily it's all downhill from Dome Plateau and I had just enough gas to make it to that first gas station in Moab. 
Okay, that's it for this vlog attempt. Now, I probably should stick to trail guides like these right here. Also, feel free to share those to entice your buddies to go wheel with you. And just know, if a mall crawler like me can do it, you can likely do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Wipeout Hill and Barbar Fork should be the next trail guides published.